Hey guys, it's Hamster Care 1998, and today I'm going to be showing you something a little different. Um, I think I posted a video a long, long time ago. I always say that I'm going to do more videos, but I just get caught up and stuff. But I'm just going to do an update on my beta fish tank, and this is Nemo's tank. Um, I just switched, I, just, I mean, I just cleaned his tank, and... He used to have a bigger one, but then I put him back in the small one because the bigger one is too big for him. I don't want him to get fin rot. So I'm just going to tell you the basic things you need for a beta fish. So this is my setup right here. Um, I just kind of, I'm cleaning my room today, so I just kind of shoved everything that, were, that was on the desk over there. But he's on my desk. And then I have my hamster tank right there and the hamster food and then I have my beta fish and then I have cat food so this is what it looks like um I'm just gonna go over the things that you need for a beta fish um hold on let me go grab them real quick I left them in the kitchen from when I was cleaning the tank Okay. So these are the things that you're going to need for a beta fish. It's really actually quite simple to keep a beta fish, but if you want to make it live longer, then this is what you need. Um, the thing that you always need is beta food. I just have these beta bites beta food, and so far Nemo really likes them. Um, he eats them, and they're just small little pebble things, and then it has the retractable top, so if you have more than one fish, but betas aren't supposed to be kept together unless they're females, and this is a male. The males are a lot prettier than the females, personally, that I think they have more color to them, and they have bigger fins, and yeah, the next thing you need is when you clean your tank, you're going to need... A net. This is just my net. It's just a blue net that I got for just pets for like two dollars. And this is where you can, this is used to scoop them out of his tank so you don't need to squish them or anything. And he just goes in this net and you just put them in a different bowl. So this is very good. And then some what I do is I scoop the rocks out of the tank, the dirty tank, and I run it underwater. So that's what I do with the net. The next thing you will need is Beta Bowl Plus. This is just the brand that I have. Um, it works really good and got it on sale for $2.99. So, yeah. The only thing you need to do with this is put a teaspoon of water conditioner. This is what it is. You put it in the water and it conditions it and makes it so all the chlorine is taken out. And, yeah, you just put one teaspoon of this in every time you clean the tank and it promotes beta health so I really like that I recommend that brand and then the next thing you need is a fish tank this one is a one gallon acrylic tank that I got at like PetSmart for like 12 bucks it was on sale and I really like it it has a plastic top and it has a light back here that flips on and on and then it has a acrylic tank and it is in a triangle what you need for your tank is gravel because this one has an underwater gravel filter where it has a tube coming up and also supplies bubbles for the fish and it works seems to be working really good I had some um, ghost shrimp in here but Mr. B doesn't really like those and kinda ate them so yeah um, what I prefer for the looks of a beta tank, I always put decorations in it. So right here I just have this kind of like Greek thing, podium, I don't know. I just thought it was, looks cool. And then I have this fake plant. I know people say that it can tear their fins, but to me my beta's fins are healthy and fine. The next thing I have is this temperature to read the temperature of the tank water because you never want it to get too cold or too hot. So right now it says, I don't know if you guys can read that. 
says it's about I don't know what that says whatever but it's fairly warm bathing this water needs to be around 78 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit that's perfect for a beta fish and then I have a heater back there see that black thing that is a heater and if you want your fish to live a long time and swim happily everywhere then you will need a heater I got my heater around Christmas time and before that my fish always sat at the bottom of the tank and didn't really do much and I read online that it was too cold so I got a heater and now Nemo is swimming around everywhere so he seems to like his tank I'll just do a little overview of his tank and there's my fish Nemo He's kind of camera shy, so looks like he isn't too happy, so I'm just going to back away. So there you go, and look forward to new more videos. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.